uh, statistic to uh, May June 2018 uh, question number one showing all necessary working solve the equation uh, three times uh, absolute values of 2x minus 1 equals 2 power x uh, giving your answer correct to three significant figures <coughs> Now, uh, this is equation uh, involving a modulus. Uh, this is the modulus, modulus sign. Now, we use uh, the definition of modulus. Thus, either 3 times 2 power x minus 1 equals 2 power x or 3 times 2 power x minus 1 equals minus 2 power x. That is here. 3 times 2 power x minus 1 equals 2 to the power of x or 3 times 2 power x minus 1 equals minus 2 power x thus for this uh, we open the brackets thus 3 times 2 power x minus 3 times 1 is 3 equals 2 power x and then 2 power x shift to the left and uh, this is uh, minus 3 shift to the right thus uh, 3 times 2 power x minus 2 power x that is 2 times 2 power x equals shift to the right is uh, equals 3 uh, uh, 2 power x is 3 over 2 and then uh, take logarithm for the both side x logarithm 2 is logarithm 3 over 2 and x is uh, logarithm 3 over 2 divided by logarithm 2 and then that is x equals uh, 0 0.585 thus or 3 times 2 power x minus 3 equals minus 2 power x and then minus 2 power x shift to the left and minus 3 shift to the right thus uh, 3 uh, times 2 power x plus 2 power x that is 4 times 2 power x equals uh, minus 3 shift to the right is 3 thus 2 power x is 3 over 4 uh, take logarithm for the both side x logarithm 2 is logarithm 3 over 4 x equals logarithm 3 over 4 per logarithm 2 do and that is uh, by using uh, calculator we obtain x equals minus uh, 0 0.41 5. Thus, that is the solution for the question number 1. Thus, x equals 0 0.585 or x, x equals minus 0 0.415. Uh, question number 2. Showing all necessary working, solve the equation cot theta plus cot theta plus 45 degree equals 2. 4 theta from 0 degree until 180 degree exclusive. Now, cot theta is that is 1 per tan theta and then cot theta plus 45 degree that is 1 per tan theta plus 45 degree equals 2. And then, uh, first we open this one that is tan theta plus 45 that is tan theta plus tan 45 per 1 minus tan theta times tan 45. Yeah. Thus, 1 per tan theta plus 1 per we open this that is that one equals 2 and then uh, we change the division becomes multiplication thus that means 1 times uh, 1 minus tan theta times tan 45 divided by tan theta plus tan 45 becomes this one equals 2 thus 1 per tan theta plus 1 tan 45 is 1, thus 1 minus tan theta per tan theta plus tan 45 is 1, equals 2. Thus uh, 1 per tan theta plus 1 minus tan theta plus per tan theta plus 1 equals 2. Thus uh, we add this fraction, we make the denominator the same. Thus tan theta plus 1 times 1, that is this one, and tan theta times that one, that is uh, tan theta minus tan square theta uh, divided by tan theta times tan theta plus 1 equals 2 and then um, here is cross multiplication thus uh, this is uh, equals uh, this part times 2 and then we obtain first we write the quadratic it is minus tan square theta plus 2 tan theta plus 1 equals 2 tan square theta plus 2 tan theta 
and simplify we obtain 3 tan square theta equals 1 uh, tan square theta is 1 over 3 or tan theta is plus minus 1 per square root of 3 now the first part that is tan theta equals 1 plus 1 per square root of 3 uh, theta is 30 degree yeah and then uh, tan theta is minus 1 per square root of 3 that is in the second quadrant to so theta is 150 degree yeah because the do domain of this equation uh, from 0 to 180 those uh, for this question the answer is uh, 30 degree and 150 degree uh, question number three in the diagram this, this diagram the tangents to the to a curve at point p with coordinate x comma y meet the x axis at uh, t this, this is the tangents line and this tangents line cuts this x axis at t here <coughs> the point n is the foot of the perpendicular from p to the x axis this, if you draw vertical lines from p to the x axis and then this is the uh, intersection point between x axis and this line this is uh, point n and this angle is 90 degree yeah this n is the foot perpendicular from p to the x axis the curve is such that for all values of x the gradient of the curve is uh, positive and tn is 2 now i show that the differential equation satisfy by x and y is dy dx equals half o, half y now <coughs> gradient of the curve at p gradient of that curve in this point by point p that is equals the gradient gradient of this tangent line tangent line of this curve at point p whose gradient of line pt and that is also equals dy dx at p so dy dx is that is the gradient of this tangent line so that is uh, the dy dx that is uh, pn or np per tn yeah np is that is y and tn that is 2 yeah, that is uh, no, tn is 2 those that is half y those i is shown, shown now further the point with coordinates uh, 4,3 lies on the curve uh, ii solve the differential equation to obtain the equation of the curve expressing y in terms of x now dy dx equals half y we separate the variables so y in the left hand side and x in the right hand side those dy per y equals half dx and then take integration for the both side those integration of dy per y equals integration of half dx and then the integration of dy per y that is ln y and integration of uh, half dx that is half x plus constant plus c now we know that the uh, 4 comma 3 lies on the curve those uh, we substitute y by 3 and x by 4 uh, ln 3 equals half times 4 is 2 plus c those from here we obtain c is ln 3 minus 2 and uh, rewrite this uh, equation substitute c by ln 3 minus 2 that is ln y equals half x plus ln 3 minus ln 2 and then uh, this shift to the left yeah those ln y minus ln 3 is half x minus 2 I use uh, logarithm uh, the law of logarithm those uh, ln uh, y over 3 equals half x minus 2 and uh, y equals uh, y per 3 equals the base of loan that is e power that one thus y over 3 equals e power half x minus 2 thus uh, the base of this logarithm thus y per 3 equals 2 e power half x minus 2 and then uh, we cross 3 thus y equals 3 times e power half 
x minus 2. This, this is the answer for this uh, question. Now, question number 4. <coughs> I show that 2 sin x minus sin 2x per 1 minus cos 2x equals or identic with uh, sin x per 1 plus cos x. Now, we do the left hand side. Those we will show that uh, this will be equals that one those uh, we choose the left hand side that is 2 sin x minus sin 2x is equals 2 times sin x cos x divided by 1 minus and then this double angle uh, we change to sing, uh, to that those cos 2x equals 2 cos squared x minus 1 yeah, do so we use uh, double angle formula for sine 2x and cos 2x and then factorize the num numerator common factor 2 sin x 2 sin x does 2 sin x times uh, 1 minus cos x divided by also here that is uh, 1 minus 2 cos squared x minus times minus 1 plus 1 does actually 2 minus 2 cos squared 2x and factorize put 2 out the brackets to this is the denominator that is equals to that one 2 times 1 minus cos squared x and then uh, further factorize this parts this, and then cancel 2 first cancel 2 to uh, sin x times 1 minus cos x divided by factorization of this one 1 minus cos squared uh, x that is 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x and then cancel 1 minus cos x those left over sin x per 1 plus cos x and that is equals to the right hand side those shown i i i hints showing all necessary working find integration from pi over 3 until pi over 2 of 2 sin x minus sin 2 x per 1 minus cos 2 x dx giving your answer in the form of long k now from i we obtain that uh, this part that is 2 sin x minus sin 2x per 1 minus cos 2x that is equal sin x per 1 plus cos x this integration from pi over 3 until pi over 2 of uh, 2 sin x minus sin 2x per 1 minus cos 2x dx that is equals integration from pi over 3 until pi over 2 of sin x per 1 plus cos x dx no <coughs> further uh, to solve this uh, integration we use the substitution method those <coughs> We let u this part to 1 plus cos x does du is differentiation of uh, 1 is 0 differentiation of, of e cos that is minus sin x dx does we replace or we substitute the sin x dx that is min du that is we have min, minus here and du and 1 plus cos x that is u does we obtain integration uh, minus integration of the u per u and the limits of uh, integration if x is pi over 3 thus u is 1 plus cos pi over 3 cos pi over 3 is half thus when <coughs> x pi over 3 that is corresponding with u is 3 over 2 because 1 plus half that is 3 over 2 and if x is pi over 2 cos pi over 2 is 0 uh, 0 plus 1 thus u is 1 that is corresponding for x pi over 2 that is why here is becomes 1 because uh, now the boundary is in u now minus integration from 3 over 2 until 1 of the u per u equals integration of this one that is ln u uh, thus from 3 over 2 until 1 thus minus ln upper limits minus ln lower limits 3 per 2 ln 1 is 0 minus times 1 minus times minus is plus those plus long 3 over 2 thank you